Last year at Fan Expo Philadelphia 2022, I was able to briefly meet actor and director Jonathan Frakes, which was pretty awesome. I did that through a photo op event. And this year with Fan Expo 2023 here in Boston, I'm going to see William Shatner live on stage and we're going to cover that and also walking around the booths and checking out the convention center here in Boston. So all that we're going to recap up next here on Lights and Buttons. A couple of days before Fan Expo, I replaced my comm badge since the original magnetic one tends to shift around and can fall off. As a matter of fact, it did fall off in the last Fan Expo uh, while I was trying to get on the stage, so that was a little bit embarrassing. But this year, I got one from Amazon, and by the way, there's a link in the description below if you're interested. And this one has not one pin, but two, so that it really stays put all day long. Fan Expo in Boston. My wife and I got to the convention center around mid morning, and William Shatner was about to get on stage soon. We have the ability to project an image, your image, that'll look like you beamed in. Now, in the movies, I won't say which ones, but we know who to open. They would, they being the film company, would film me in this strange wardrobe. I haven't said anything. And they would film my figure, and then I would get off the stage, and they'd film the empty stage. Then they put the two pieces of film together and forgive me, I'm going to release a secret that you may or may not know. They would put a little Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> you mean it's pretend? Yes. They would film the Alka-Seltzer and put that and they would dissolve the bubbles of the Alka-Seltzer would look like I was whatever that word is. Uh, appearing from nowhere, okay? He talked about artificial intelligence as well as the morals that goes into the programming of AI, as well as one of his trips to Australia. It can get pretty crowded after an event at the main stage, but everyone was pretty civil in leaving the area. We walked around, checked out various booths, and it was neat seeing some of the handcrafted and or local businesses sell their unique products. Towards the end, there was a Star Trek cosplay meetup on the schedule. I'm gonna have to admit, there's a lot less Star Trek uniforms compared to Philly, at least this year. A lot more Star Wars, but I like both, so anyway. My wife and I joked around that maybe I'll be the only one that will show up to this Star Trek meetup, and if so, I'll just still continue doing this video. But not too long after I said that, a couple of people showed up, and then at the end, we did have several people. So while we're not large in numbers, we did our cool little private photo shoot on the red carpet. Even though this year I didn't do any photo ops nor meet and greets, I still had a lot of fun. There's a lot of things to check out and if you're tired, you can go to something like the Star Wars Clone Wars showings where you can sit down, relax, and then kind of rest up until your next event. Now there's some issues with celebrities attending the event. So for example, there was a cancellation due to a health issue. There were some travel delays and there's a lot of fans that kind of get upset over that, but I guess that could kind of happen to anyone. Every year is different. And for example, last year I went to a Star Wars versus Star Trek debate. That was pretty cool. Um, but this year it wasn't on the calendar. So who knows, maybe it'll pop up in next year's schedule. And that's it for this video. Please subscribe if you like. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.